Finn Balor is opening up about why he refused to join groups in WWE, so we'll see what he had to say. We'll also check out what's going on with Maxine Dupree, Ronda Rousey, and more. Let's start things off with Finn Balor because he's opening up about his early hesitations to join a group in WWE. Finn Balor has been a member of the Judgment Day for well over a year now, and it's no secret at all that the group overall has been a major success, and everyone has benefited from being in the group. Rhea Ripley went from being directionless in the tag team division to being a breakout single star. She started getting more mic time and of course captured the women's world title. Damian Priest, who was also lost in the shuffle there for a bit before the Judgment Day's formation, took himself to new heights because of the group. Same thing goes for Dominic Mysterio, and obviously same thing goes for Finn Balor. Finn came to the main roster on quite the role in 2016. He beat Roman Reigns right away during one of his first nights on Raw, and topped that off by becoming the first ever WWE Universal Champion just a few short weeks after that. But as everyone knows, he would end up getting hurt in that match that he won the Universal title in, and never truly made it back to the world title scene. He eventually went over to NXT where he had a great heel turn over there, even capturing the NXT World Championship, and finally built himself back up in a major way thanks to that second run in NXT. Fans weren't so thrilled though because Finn's first match back on the main roster after that second NXT run was him and his demon persona being basically fed to Roman Reigns with a screwy finish. And fans didn't really enjoy that because all that momentum from his second NXT run felt lost after that feud with Roman Reigns. And Finn sort of went back to being lost in the shuffle a bit after that. But what saved Finn was that heel turn and that big shocking moment of joining the Judgment Day and kicking Edge out. So the Judgment Day really saved Finn Balor there from once again staying lost in the shuffle. The Judgment Day allowed Finn Balor to dig back into his heel side and really elevate his game all the way back to the point of being a main event caliber superstar again. But according to Finn Balor himself, it almost didn't happen because he was hesitant about joining any faction in WWE. Finn had this to say about the topic while speaking with Sports Illustrated. Quote, Having had success with Bullet Club, I knew there was going to be comparisons made, had I been involved in another group. So I was always reluctant to go that direction. However, when the chance to work with Damian Priest was presented, I didn't hesitate for a second. Damian and I have always had a very good relationship since we met at NXT, and I felt that this group could be something completely different. For me personally, I was at a point in my career where I knew that something had to change. So the timing of this was perfect and very similar to my NJPW turn. Finally, I could channel my real frustrations. I was feeling into the character, and I had no doubt that this was the right move." End quote. So it was Finn's friendship with Damian Priest that really made him jump at the opportunity to work with the Judgment Day, and it's been a massive success so far. We'll have to see what's next for Finn Balor, Damian Priest, and the rest of the Judgment Day. WWE may be losing another top star, and that individual is Ronda Rousey. This isn't a new rumor at all, Ronda has been reportedly nearing the end of her WWE run for a little while now. This became more publicly known after Shayna Baszler suddenly betrayed Ronda Rousey at Money in the Bank. At that specific point in time within the story, Shayna's turn logically made no sense. Ronda and Shayna had just captured the women's tag team titles a few weeks before that event, and there was absolutely zero tension teased between Ronda and Shayna. No hints or teases beforehand, it was just a complete shock value turn at Money in the Bank. But the rumored reason right from the start for the rush turn was apparently that Ronda's time in WWE was coming to an end. So they had to rush and skip past a majority of the tag team run so that they would still have time to do the feud between Ronda and Shayna. Well, many fans suspected that SummerSlam could be the final big WWE appearance for Ronda Rousey where she puts over her best friend Shayna Baszler while walking into the sunset. That's still a possibility, but reports claim that there's no solid confirmation on if SummerSlam is truly Ronda's last match or not. No one seems to know the exact date for her WWE contract ending, but all the reports keep saying that it's coming up in the very near future, 
and how this feud with Shayna Baszler may be the last thing she does in WWE. If this truly is the end for Ronda Rousey's WWE run, she's going down as one of the impactful stars in the history of the women's division and WWE in general. Sure, everyone knows that her second run in WWE was nowhere near the level of her first run, but Ronda made a lot of great history with that first run. Her surprise debut at Royal Rumble received coverage from outlets all over the world and brought so much attention to WWE. Her feud and match against Triple H and Stephanie McMahon was very entertaining, and Ronda got the most credit for truly assisting the women's division in making history. A lot of people say that without Ronda Rousey, there would be no Evolution premium live event and no WrestleMania 35 main event. So although her second run got shaky at times, there's still no denying the impact and history she left behind in WWE overall. A big name was recently spotted during the weekend of SummerSlam WWE tryouts. Reports claim that Anthony Luke recently tried out for WWE. Anthony is a notable name at the tryouts because he's the real-life boyfriend of rising WWE superstar Maxine Dupree. So his name was plastered all over the reports as a pretty big name to watch out for in the tryouts. It looks like Anthony is interested in testing the waters and trying to get into the same field as his partner. So it'll be interesting to see if he does impress WWE officials. Anthony has a big college football background and history tells us that a lot of these former football players do end up having success in the wrestling industry. Just look at stars like Roman Reigns, Baron Corbin, and so many other superstars that come from football backgrounds. So history is in his favor there. We'll see if he does end up catching someone's eye in WWE. As far as things go for Maxine Dupree, she's truly been making a name for herself on Raw and has been genuinely connecting with the fans. It originally looked like Maxine was going to steal Otis away from Chad Gable and bring him into MMM. But WWE suddenly made the big change of having Maxine abandon her group and join the Alpha Academy instead. And in the weeks since joining, Maxine Dupree has been learning and training under Chad Gable to wrestle and compete in the ring. Maxine never wrestled a single time during her time in NXT or in MMM. A lot of fans thought that maybe she'll just stay in that manager role, but thanks to this new story, she's learning the ropes and getting some reps in the ring. Chad Gable even praised Maxine's work ethic and said that she's genuinely very eager to learn more about wrestling and improve her craft. Maxine already appears to have some connection growing with the fans. So if she keeps learning and training, she'll definitely have a lot of potential there to tap into. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.